What's going on, Explorers? It's your man, Brandon the Bandon, 6'4", Explorer with Urbex Sticklet. I got a really cool spot for you guys here. Now, I was here a little while ago and it was closed up, but now there was a lot of traffic in the area. So this place is open now. I took a peek around just in the first two rooms and it looks pretty decent. I think it's worth checking out. I didn't put on my bug spray yet and I'm getting eaten alive. This place is right out in the middle of the bush. It's a beautiful house. I haven't been posting for a little bit. I had to deal with work for all, work and all that, but I'm back. You guys are gonna start seeing some really cool spots again. So let's jump right in here and let's get exploring. So, explorers, we had to walk all the way from over here. There's a little pond. It's a long driveway. It took about five minutes. You walk around. The stairs are gone. There's a chair here. But this door before was closed. It's now open. Dirty place right at first. books a shelf with a bunch of foam a couple of books and magazines <laughs> not much in there some clothes shoes talk to a chandelier Somebody left a suitcase. That's a nice, beautiful big window, though. Paint peeling real cool. A single picture left on the wall. Yikes. So somebody definitely rummaged through here. And not nicely. I wonder what it looked like a month ago when this place wasn't open. If it was still a nice time capsule, if all this stuff was on the shelf. Some of it looks pretty bad on the ground. That's so nice. Some nice stuff over there. Oh, that's just the door for it. Oh, there are cobwebs like crazy all through my new haircut. Look at all that stuff. Some of it looks like it's been on the ground for a while, but it's rained a whole lot in the past little bit. Oh, excuse me. That's very cool. This door looks weird. Just looks tiny. Man, I gotta watch where I'm going. I watch on the camera, so I don't always see where my feet are. And in this house, I'm kicking tons of stuff already. Look at that snazzy light. Very cool. Nice cupboard. I like that old, old wood. Would you call it a hutch? Maybe? Stuff's not gonna open. I'm sure the wood's quite warped, but that's cool. Very neat. General Electric. If you know what that's for, let me know. Looks like you put eggs in it, the shape of it, but you definitely put knives in the side. I'm just not sure what goes in those holes. Some dishes. Old oven. Sometimes it's funny stuff left. Man, kicked another thing. As you can tell, I moved the light even. Look at that snazzy retro. 
Fucking light. <laughs> There's no fridge, unfortunately, everybody. Not in this room, anyway. No, we'll go back in here. Who's gonna be here upstairs? Looks like there's some light coming in. Yeah, you can see that. Ceiling's coming right down. We're back into this room. I just wanted to walk through this way instead of coming the opposite way through it. Picture of someone. I just don't want to go rubbing the stuff off with my fingers. Whoa. Did you hear that noise? The floor right here almost just gave out. Good thing I got size 14 feet. They're like snowshoes. They save me sometimes. But this is a beautiful room. Nice and wood. The old stove. Now, <laughs> I'll try to get as close as I can. Seems all right. But look at this thing. Beautiful. The old cable. A very nice room. A vacuum. And a couple of Canada mugs. Some smiley faces. A stove isn't as nice as a bunch that we've seen. Look at that. Plant doesn't even need water. Alright, that's nice. The old picture. <laughs> Whoa. Now let's see what happens here. They've got a rope tied. Yeah, a bunch of two by fours, they're stopping people from coming in. I guess this is where the cup's from. That one says Plaza. New Ye Your Bones, 1998. Somebody had just a cool old Max. Avid, I'm not sure what that is. Computer consulting. <laughs> These are all cups from like old businesses. Now if I can maybe use this. What are those ones? Sun and Fun. Sun Dills. This one fell out of the from underneath. Precardia. Well, that's pretty cool. Never really seen that. Barnes. Never seen an old cup collection like that. But that's cool. Very cool. All right. Oh, that's a sketchy floor. And that's back to the kitchen right there. So let's take this nice way. Actually, you know what? I don't want any instances to happen. So we're gonna go back this way. What do you think? Should we take these stairs? No. Let's take these cool curved ones. Check out the upstairs. I just wanted to point out like the cool faded green and the faded kind of purple. This old style light. It almost looks like say the video game fallout looks like it was supposed to be futuristic for its time just the cool awesome colors and now with all the faded and decay it just never made it it wasn't as good as the world was hoping but that just looks so cool 
All right. Now we're going to do this slowly. Because of the way that the floor was there and just the way that this building is, this house. I'll make sure I don't fall through no floors. Holy crap, that's cool. Ooh. Nice light. But look at this. Like his own personal little study. So the other stairs are going to lead to a different upstairs. Let's slowly look through here. Scrabble. A whole bunch of books. Some CDs. Coat hangers. Nothing in there. We've got a bunch of computer programming stuff in there. That's cool. Just desks. I don't think there would have been a bed in here. I definitely think this was just... Just a study. Just an office. Below me, there's a Catholic book of worship, too. Now, I want to get a little bit closer to these books. Uh, all right. Feels okay. I'll go real slow. Pause it. Check out the names. If there's any really cool books, any really historic books, please throw it in the comment for the, for the other viewers that might not know. But isn't that cool? You all know I love books. Love stumbling upon abandoned books now. I wish they were all in great shape, but sometimes this has to happen. As long as they're not books that could change history or, you know, be super, super expensive. Something that shouldn't be rotting away. Got that old hard drive there. Whoop, right there. It's a little disc holder. Got some clothes. A funky lamp. And another magic micro mugs. A little pink coat rack. Maybe it was a girl's study. A lady's study. Or maybe he had a daughter. Maybe she had a daughter too. <laughs> it's, it's always fun trying to think of the situations. A little wood banister. And a picture over here. Oh, sorry about that. Good old green building. I'm not sure where that would be. Do another nice little pan of this upstairs. It's no point in me trying to open those. They're either going to be warped clothes or who, whoever opened all the other ones, I'm sure, opened them. Juan Pablo II, Cuba. I love Cuba. I will be going back there. All right, let's check out the other stairs. Now I'm excited. I get very excited. All right, you guys always make your way around the houses so fast. You know where all the stairs are right away. I love it. The best exploring group I've ever been with. Look at the teddy bear to welcome me up these stairs. Carpeted stairs. Stinks. Just real musty, mildewy. Look at that groovy man. Hello, hello. Looks like empty picture cases over there. It's got some wood here. Now I see IDs on the table. So let me. Let 
the same last name. Yep. A mom and a son. It's even a passport. It's mom's. I take a peek at that. So there's a daughter. Mom's passport. Son's ID. And mom's. Mom's health card. The ID's from 2002. Stand statutory declaration paper. Is there a date? There's another picture, the whole family, and a big old knife. Oh no. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming grandma's teeth. <laughs> Look at those, those pearly whites. <laughs> those just kind of popped out at me there. That was pretty weird. <laughs> right off the bat, walking up the stairs. What a really cool table that was. And the light that we could see is from, check out the shower with that old thing in there. The dispenser, the ceiling's coming right down. Go check that out. It had a skylight. And we got a nasty toilet, so we won't go too close to that thing. That's funny again. Chompers. Just the top half, so there's not much chomping going on. Because wherever she is, she only has the bottom half. Some more books, a little bit of clothes, a bunch more papers, and a newspaper. They always have dates. Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen, you guys. Do you really think this place has only been abandoned for four years? Maybe squatters brought newspapers in. Because, like, look at the shape. Look at this. I guess that could happen over, over four winters. But, come on. We don't know what the shape of the house was before. And I never think any disrespect of anybody. This place, again, could have been the cleanest place you've ever seen. But four years and a lot of weather can definitely do some really bad stuff. Oh, hopefully I didn't show that. I don't want to show any names away, but that's the same name. So that wasn't something a squatter stole and brought in, it doesn't look like. <laughs> that's awesome. Look at that. I 100% hope this kid turned out to be a scientist. Or a professional athlete. One of the two. <laughs> What a cool room this is. Again, so much stuff. Somebody decided to take the mattress. I don't want to step on anything really. So I'll kind of get to the middle and we'll pan around. What are these? Marriage contingencies and joint affidavits. That's weird. I wonder why they're posted up on the TV like that. We got more paper there. Beautiful drawing. Hockey along the wall. This was the scientist's room then for sure. Things below me are making noises. Is that grandma's teeth holder? Are the other ones close? They're not in there, but that doesn't mean they're not in this room. Look at that. Toby Maguire. Really cool gun.
race cards. A little baseball cap. Oops. See that there? That's an old, old cap. Maybe his pops is. Look at the mess in here. And by mess, I just mean the stuff falling down from the ceiling. I've had a cluttered closet myself. Don't you, don't you think I haven't? Not anymore. Not. Oh, <laughs> so many cobwebs. I just wanted to see what the one picture was. That's very cool. I really like this room. Well, I'll try to not show the names, but see the stamps there. This family was Cuban. <laughs> they definitely came from Cuba with all of the all the Cuban pictures and now letters from Cuba. Cuba. This one kind of stinks. Like a fan. Whole lot more papers. We got GQ. Some bodybuilding. Again, like when the rummage fairies come, they look through everything. Absolutely everything. I just want to show you what looks like could be some cool, you know, necklaces that maybe came from Cuba. I thought that was too, but it's not. A nursing book, so maybe somebody, the daughter, could have been teaching, learning to be a, a nurse, a doctor. Dirty underwear all over the ground. And maps. Car books from 2011. See, 2011, I'd believe, a little more. It's almost like they were had a closet plus a little work area. Maybe to do your homework. Something along those lines. GQ from what year? I don't know where to find a date on a GQ. 2010. Again. A lot of ceiling damage in this house. Some cool shelves. Somebody left some change. So, wow. This house is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. i seen the downstairs. i seen there was a few things like the TV and that, but I didn't expect the two upstairs to be amazing. Like, really, really cool. And again, with these here. Grandma's teeth. All right, everybody. So, I guess we got to do it. We've seen it. We're going to have to check out the basement. There's an attic. It's not too high of a ceiling. Let's see. Hopefully nobody swats my camera. Or takes it. If you guys look around and tell me if you see anything. Anything cool. Oh, oh. And drop zone. <laughs> All right, everybody. So you always seem to beat me to the stairs. Whoa. So did you hear that? Something just ran across the ceiling. Definitely an animal up there. Lord have mercy. All right. As I was saying, please meet me at the basement stairs. I'm going to take some pictures and videos up here, and I'll meet you there. built these stairs built them solid I almost could trust them just by the look of them holy all right so we're gonna be in here for a minute <laughs> so let's go this way first we got a dryer no washer 
I guess this was the washer here. They did it by hand. Oh, maybe that's how the person got in through this window. Maybe this place has been open for a while because I don't think I got close enough to the house to check that window because there's so much overgrow, overgrowth. All right. There's a whole lot of clothes and some books. And the smell of pee. That's a snazzy bag, isn't it? I think I recognize the, the green and the orange there. Oh, let's come to this side. Take another little peek. Oh, see that thing hanging there? Toronto, Canada, those are some cool cups. This guy's got even more down here. Another Canada. All Canada cups. <laughs> well, this Toronto one's cool. I like that. I wouldn't drink out of a cup out of a house like this. No matter how many times you cleaned it. And a bag of shoes. Looks like probably a Care Bear there. Plastic bags, I thought it said plastic bongs. Little tiny shoes. That's pretty cool. All the kids' shoes left. His baby shoes, I still got my baby shoes. You should see how hard they are. They're amazing. Ew, I'm not gonna touch those jackets. Look at the fur one. See the way it's rotting away? Like it was a human? <laughs> that tells you that fur is real. That's pretty gross. What's gross is what my boots are standing in just... Because there's been water down here. And a mess. That's the only reason. I don't mind people's clothing. But when it's been soaked in water this many times, over and over. Very cool. That's going to be it for this basement here. So we come up this. This would have been the driveway. This would have been a driveway right here. And it would have went up beside the house. But it's so overgrown. That's not four years can't be Look how big this tree is there's their little pond over here there's those trees that we all love now this is this side of the house it doesn't look that appealing but it is actually a beautiful house the inside is amazing I can't believe how much stuff is left yeah this is a beautiful property. Walk between these two nice trees. I'll take a little bit of a peek here, but see what I mean? It's a lot nicer than just that one side shows. This I think might be the back. Could be the back, unless this is the front. Then the driveway came over here. Big property. I said we're pretty far out here. You can hear the road, but that road is a long country road. See what I mean, how much growth there is? That's why I couldn't get to that window. I wasn't getting that close to the house. And the way that this is big and kind of clear where I'm walking here, it almost seems like the driveway went all the way around the house. Because here would have been a light for while you were driving. 
can see what I mean. This is a beautiful house. That's their well right here. So we're not gonna not gonna step on it. Beautiful house. Bunch of satellites. Another giant tree. They got a rope here. It was attached here, so it was going across. Had a couple swings or even just to dry stuff off when you need it. No, I'm gonna walk back the other way. All right, explorers, what did you all think about this, eh? Such a cool house. It was another drive-by find again. I love this. Go into another spot you have tagged, you see a dead driveway, you check it out, and boom, something magical. I really enjoyed this spot. The downstairs was cool. That one room with all this, all the dishes and everything, I wish it wasn't so messed up. But once we got upstairs, wow, this place just changed totally. Had a whole different story. A Cuban family. I'm pretty sure that they all probably went back to Cuba, I'd say during COVID, because that was probably the best thing to do. I would have done it as well. That's my guess. I'm going to do some research, and if I find out, I'll put it in the bottom. I'll try to voice over in the video, but sometimes, again, it's hard to find, especially when the people aren't real famous people or anything like that, or nothing big happened in the whole situation. But again, I'm back. Sorry for that two weeks off. I needed to deal with a very cool work opportunity, so... Thank you again for putting up with me. Thank you so much for keeping my channel growing while I was gone. That's the biggest thing. I love you all for that. That's absolutely amazing. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for all the comments, for the love, for all the views, all that good stuff. Brandon O'Bannon, 6'4", and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. We will rise from the ashes. We will rise. Will you follow? The very ones that we need We hold a piece of the universe Indeed We hold a piece of the universe Boiling, I cooled it off, but I still aim to explode a cocktail of Molotov. I am not the boss, but I don't acquiesce to our laws. Internal powers that be have really no sense of cause. Of human life took all the rights of freedom in our sights of our machine guns. They sell the babies to protect their investments. I'll no longer be repressing. Women no longer undressing. We'll all rise. Close your eyes. The out was never really all that wise. Athena taking her back to tell the war was straight whack. Trying to keep the power close. They hanging by the Pinocchio nose. But no room glitch. Instead of saying that's it. With your balls and your dick. Can you stand up for the kids? I'm not condoning the guns. I'm talking light wars. Energy from the sun. Jedi's, where you at? And mortal tech drew a map. There's been some failures in the back. But we still need to react. Not from all consciousness. Cause Einstein was right. We ain't shit. We'll get the same consequence. We gotta fight with the mind power of one. Much like they control sun. We must use the strongest weapon that we never really mastered yeah you know it uh-huh that's right love from the ashes we will rise 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 we are the resistance we arise from ashes we arise from ashes we arise from ashes we arise from ashes Cause we got shamans
kings and sages that could fast for months, shoot energy from palms that could melt all the fronts, cause when we heal our